This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. What I want to look at in this lesson is how you can make the table anything you want. Because your personal preference is going to make the utilization of project the best for you. So let's go look at an example. This is simply the wine tasting example, and I, I only want to work with the table here. I'm not interested in the Gantt chart at this exact moment. So you always have that divider, the divider, excuse me, the divider between the table and the Gantt chart. And when I rest my mouse on, I'm just wiggling my mouse here so you can see it moving up and down. Whenever you get that two-headed arrow, two-headed arrows always mean click me, drag me, and I'll move for you. So I click and I drag. And what it'll do for me is allow me to reshape the screen so I can have more or less of the Gantt chart viewing. Right now I'm only interested in the table. So I want to look at how you can modify the table to make the table look exactly the way you want it to look. First of all, let's start with how you can rearrange things. So instead of the start and the finish date being task, duration, start, finish, I decide that I want the duration to be over here to the right. So you just point on whatever it is you want to change, and I'm in the duration column, and you click. So you just click and I let go. You just click your mouse and let go. And now when I rest my mouse on the duration column, it's a four-headed arrow. And four-headed arrows always mean click me, drag me, move me. So I'll grab duration, and I'm not letting go. And if you'll see I'm on the finish column. I'm just wiggling back and forth, left to right, so you can see the gray bar. Now it's on the left and the right of resource names. Wherever that gray bar is, when I let go of my mouse, which I'll do right now, it pops in. My Gantt chart decided it wanted to resize. There we go. It pops in the column exactly where you placed it. So if you do that on accident, now you'll know what you did on accident. Let's see if the undo will put that back. Sure will. So if you ever do that accidentally and you notice it right away, just jump up to the undo and ask the undo to do its work and put things back for you. So now you know how to rearrange columns if you don't like the the order of the columns. There's also an opportunity to add a new column. And this, this one is new in Project 2010. So for those of you who are saying, I've never seen that before, it's because it wasn't here before. It makes it convenient. You simply click on Add New Column, and it gives you a list of every available column. And I'm just doing a quick scroll so you can see that there are many, 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 many columns that are out there. Columns that you can utilize because you want something extra, new, different, special on your table. Also, you can just start typing. So I just hit T on my keyboard and it automatically took me into all the T's so I didn't have to scroll to get to all the T's because maybe what I need is some sort of a comment column. And so I want to just use a generic text column to create my comments. Or maybe I want to see if there is a comment column. I just deleted the T off and I'm hitting C. So you now can identify that it'll go back alphabetically and look for a comment column. Well, no comment column, so maybe it would be better to use the text column. But the point is, you can quickly and easily add any column at any time that you'd like to while you're working inside of project. Now I'm going to hit escape because I don't want to add a column right here right now. Here's another option that you have, resource names, finish, start, duration. Any of these may accidentally get erased. And here's what could happen. Let's just do resource name. If I clicked on resource name and I was doing something and then I hit, yikes, hit the delete key on my keyboard, resource name column just disappeared. Well, maybe I want to use the add new column or you also just do the opposite of what you just accidentally or intentionally did. Maybe you want to hide the column. The contents did not delete. The column simply physically is hidden from you. You can also use your insert key on the keyboard. So all I did was click the insert key on the keyboard. Let me hit escape and let me click on duration just to show you. So now I'm on the duration field and I'll hit the insert key on the keyboard. It's a little easier to see over here. So now you can see there's the task name column, this new field that I'm wanting to put in, or this new column that I want to put in, and then the duration. And remember, the one that I lost was resources. So I'm going to go ahead and hit R to find my resources. And there it is. It's the resource name column, and now it's back. 
So you can at any time remove because you don't want it visible. But remember, removing just hides. It does not delete the contents. Let me resize here to get that Gantt chart out of my way. And or you can add, you can delete, or just clicking because I want to put this back where it came from, I can move those columns. And that silly Gantt chart just loves to be visible. So every time you do some modification in your table, your Gantt chart is going to pop in your way. Just drag it back over there. But now you're capable of creating any table you would like to because you have all the tools you need to add columns into your table, to remove or hide columns from your table, and to rearrange the columns in your table.